best practice is to disable automatic summarization. So on router three, at the moment, we don't have automatic summarization disabled. It is disabled on router two and router one. We disabled automatic summarization here on router two and here on router one. So on router three, router rip, no auto summary. Now it may take rip a while to converge. So to force things, I'm simply gonna turn off packet tracer and turn it on again. So I'll close packet tracer here and I'll start it up again. I found that with packet tracer, sometimes when you make changes like these, the best way to ensure that things are working properly is to simply restart packet tracer. Okay, so packet tracer has booted up again. Show IP route. This router has now learnt about this network. Notice it's a slash 24 network, not a slash 16. So show IP rip database. We see this network rather than a slash 16 in the rip database. Router three is not automatically summarizing this route. So the network will function as it was before, but is more reliable because we are not automatically summarizing routes. You need to be careful with automatic summarization. Best practice is to generally turn off automatic summarization in routing protocols such as RIP and EIGRP. You don't want automatic summarization in a network because as an example, if you had a 172.16, network here, you would have problems. So as an example, if I created a loopback on router one and configured this IP address on the loopback and then advertised that network into RIP, show run shows us that that's been changed to this but because we've disabled automatic summarization, router two knows where both 172.16.1.0 is and 172.16.2.0. So as an example, router two knows that to get to the subnet, it needs to send the traffic out of this interface but to get to the subnet, it needs to send the traffic out of this interface, gigabit 000. That only works because automatic summarization has been disabled. So traffic is sent in the correct direction. Notice to get to 172.16.2.1, it's going left, and let's send the traffic to 1.2, which is the DNS server, traffic is going to router three and then to the DNS server. So that works correctly. However, if I enabled automatic summarization on router one and router three, it can cause problems. So I'm going to enable automatic summarization on both of these routers. Notice the command no order summary has been removed. I'll save the configuration of these routers. And again, to force things, I'm gonna shut packet tracer down and start it up again. That's gonna be the quickest and cleanest way to ensure that the network works as it should. So now on router two, when I look at the routing table, I won't see 172.16, 1 1.0 and 2.0. I see 172.16, 0.0, 0 
slash 16 and notice the router thinks it can get to that network via router 1 and router 3. So if I ping 172.16.2.1, I get a ping and then a failure and then a ping and then a failure and then a ping. The same is true if I ping the DNS server 172.16.1.2, this IP address, some traffic is sent this way, some traffic is sent this way because the router thinks that it can use equal cost load balancing to get to that network. So one packet is sent to router two, one packet to router three, one packet to router two, and then one packet to router three, and so forth and so on. So we get 50% success rate. So be careful, you typically want to disable automatic summarization. So type no order summary on all your routers. There's router one. Here's router three. So router rip, no order summary. Back on router two, let's see if that's improved things. Notice the routing table has not been updated yet. In the real world, using a clear IP route will force things to update correctly. That may take a while in Packet Tracer. So notice it's now learnt about 172.16.1.0, which is great, but it hasn't learnt about 172.16.2.0. Took it a while, but notice it now has. So 172.16.2.1 works, 1.2 works. Remember to disable automatic summarization on your routers when using protocols such as RIP and EIGRP. So how did you do? Were you able to complete this lab? Did you get RIP working? Do you understand automatic summarization and the command no order summary?